Uh, hi, all. I'm Jaya Boski from King's College London. And today I will present you uh, my work in collaboration with Anthony Peter Young, Sagar Joglekar, Chiara Camarota, and Nishan Sastri on what is the best way to sample online discussions, to have the big picture of them, and to read most of the acceptable or justified comments in them. So before entering the details of the work and to understand why is this interesting, I want to show you an example of um, an online discussion. So let's take, for example, an impartial user that uh, read an online uh, debate and mm, see the comments that are um, put forward. So let's have an initial comment A uh, or initial thesis uh, that we can consider acceptable because it's the only one in the deba debate. And then we have other comments arriving, for example, B, uh, that is uh, another comment that attacks A. So given that there are only two comments in the debate, we can consider B replying to A and, for example, attacking its position. And given that no one is replying to B, uh, now the user uh, consider B a justified comment and A uh, defeated by B and so not justified anymore. <clears throat> when more comments arrive, the situation becomes more complicated. In fact, there can be comments supporting, for example, C support B, uh, other comments attacking, like D attacking B, or, um, and so on and so forth. What is interesting is that um, when D attacks B, uh, it is possible that it mm, indirectly reinstates A. So uh, when mm, given that we can consider C and D, for example, justified because no one is replying to them, um, B uh, is not justified anymore because it's effectively replied by D. But at this point, uh, if D attacks D, D can defend A, so A becomes justified again. So you can understand that uh, these kind of structures um, appear, um, when appear in large conversations, um, it, it's impossible to follow for a normal user that does not read all the comments being made and may miss some of these three statements, for example. And this may lead to the users that end up making wrong conclusions about the point being made in the discussion and end up with different ideas on which comments have been effectively replied or not. So for this reason, we want to know which are the areas of the conversation where most of the acceptable or provisionally acceptable comments lie. And we want to, to understand what is the best way to read the discussion such to get most of them. Um, this way of formalizing online conversation comes from argumentation theory, that is a field in artificial intelligence that uh, mathematically formalize arguments and find a way to, um, to find solutions from uh, discussions and debates, um, a logical solution to, to discussion and debates. Um, from argumentation theory, we take some rules to formalize online discussion and define what is a justified argument. In particular, for uh, graphs that are trees uh, that are, um, represent most of online conversations, so there are no loops, um, we can extract two rules from argumentation theory that are that all our replied comments are justified by default provisionally until there is another comment that replies to them. And that a comment is unjustified if a comment is unjustified if it is attacked by at least one justified argument or if it's supported by an unjustified one. So um, we apply these techniques to an online platform, um, debating platform that is called Chialo. Um, uh, Chialo allows user to add pieces and discuss them. Uh, for example, the one on the right. And the discussions have a tree structure. And so as the one that we saw, um, and users discuss the thesis, uh, adding comments that can be supportive or uh, attacking. And these, the, these comments declare if they are attacking or supporting. So we have the relations between the comments. And also the platform is well moderated. So people cannot add the um, comments that are um, not uh, on point, that are off topic or are insults, for example. So the discussion cannot generate, degenerate uh, in, uh, in something else. So it should remain on the point of the thesis. Um, and this is why we have documentation theory to, to, to treat this kind of discussions. So <clears throat> we developed a probabilistic model that uses um, three ingredients uh, to uh, show what is the probability of having justified comments at different level of the, um, of the graph, where the level is the distance of a comment from the piece. Uh, 
uh, we have that the other ingredient that we need uh, to characterize this, this, this distribution is the probability of a comment being supportive, or uh, we can be identified as the fraction of supporting comments in the graph. Uh, and finally, we need the in-degree distribution of the nodes um, that can or cannot depend on the level of the node in the graph. And we have the following formula to, to describe P of H. We study the, um, the probability of having justified comments at different levels uh, in different kinds of graphs, starting from synthetic discussions on graphs that we generated with homogeneous integrity distribution, meaning that um, when the integrity distribution does not depend on age, and on non-homogeneous integrity distribution graph, for example, scale-free trees, where the integrity distribution is different if we take different level of, of the tree. And finally, we look at a real discussion of Claro. Um, for homogeneous trees, we have the following theorem of, and we found that uh, when Q, so the proportion of justify of uh, supporting comments in the graph is 0 0.5, uh, um, so the discussion is balanced, there are the same number of uh, attacks and supports. Um, the probability of having justified comments is not dependent on the level or the distance of the comment uh, from thesis. Uh, when Q instead is small, so the discussion is very aggressive, uh, the probability of having justified comments is determined by the parity of the level, and I will show you in a second what this means. And finally, when Q is bigger than 0 0.5, so the discussion is very supportive, then the probability of having justified comments decreases going from the deepest level of the tree to the root. So here is uh, an example uh, for uh, a simulation and the theoretical estimation of uh, a graph with a Poisson distribution in the grid distribution. And we see that in P of H, so the probability of having justified comments um, increases and decreases uh, with the level when Q is small, so when the, when the discussion is aggressive. And when Q is large, instead it increases going from the thesis uh, to the end of the tree. And when Q is uh, 0 0.5, we have that the probability of uh, having justified comments does not depend on that. <clears throat> Let's see, for example, when Q is small, what happens? Um, in, in, um, so we have that, for example, we have a graph where all the com almost all the comments are attacking, uh, apart from exception. Uh, and with J, I identify justified comments with um, not J and J uh, not justified comments. We have that, um, as we can see on the left, every time there is an attack, uh, the comment defeats the, the one at the previous level. And on turn, um, the not justified comment um, attacks the, the previous one that becomes justified for the indirect uh, support by a justified comment and so on and so forth. And so uh, apart from few ex exception, this is what happens. And this is why we have oscillating probabilities uh, among the levels. When instead the Q is, um, for example, 0 0.9, so we have a lot of comments that are supporting each other, apart from few exception. We have that the justified status in general is um, transmitted, let's say, to the comment uh, on, the on the previous level. And what happens is that um, uh, higher is the number of replies and higher is the probability that there is at least like one comment that is instead attacking and it breaks this uh, chain of justified comments. So going uh, towards the, the thesis, we have that we have more not justified comments. And so this is why we have that probability of having justified comments decreases going from the um, the deepest level of the tree to the thesis. Uh, for non-homogeneous uh, trees, uh, the situation is quite different. In fact, uh, with the uh, changing Q, we can see that the probability of having justified comments in blue does not vary. And this um, can, can be explained looking at the probability of having uh, leaves, so that means uh, comments that are unreplied per level. If we have a lot of leaves uh, uh, among the, the tree and the distribution of leaves changes per level, we can see that this distribution guides the distribution of justified comments per level. So we can say that most of the justified comments uh, are given by the, the, the comments that are applied that are justified by the fault. 
So on yellow graphs, we can see uh, somehow in the similar situation that um, prob probability of having justified comments depends strongly on the number of unreplied comments per level. So um, the leaves appear to have a strong influence uh, in determining the position also of the other justified arguments in the graph. Um, and but uh, in a large graph with a lot of unreplied comments, um, we are given by default that these are justified, but we do not know why these comments are left unreplied. And we, um, we want to mitigate its effect uh, because um, comments may be unreplied for many reasons, and it, it can be only provisionally acceptable, given that maybe, for example, replied in a, in a, um, in a future. So we want to remove leaves nodes uh, from the counter justified arguments to see um, what changes and how the other comments are distributed. And we can compare here the, the probability of having justified comments in the first line with the leaves and without the leaves. And we can see in the second line that we can see again the patterns that we saw for homogeneous uh, trees. So P of H uh, uh, oscillates with the level when Q is small and does not depend a lot on the level of Q is uh, medium. And when Q is large, so the, the discussion is active, we can see again that uh, the probability of winning increases um, with, um, uh, with the level. <clears throat> so um, we can see that when importance of leaves is reduced, um, the behavior of justified comments in yellow uh, resemble that of justified comments in homogeneous trees, uh, but we can still see some influence of the leaves on the other justified comments. For example, if we look at the graph in the middle here, uh, we have the when Q is 0 0.5, we see a bump on the left that is very similar to the bump that we see on the leaves uh, um, before. Um, so. Uh, Okay, so um, to conclude, um, the probabilistic approach that we took appears to be a good way to tackle the problem because it can predict the location of justified arguments in online discussions. And we saw that this uh, distribution depends on the relative proportion of attacking and supporting arguments in the overall discussion and on the structure of the discussion tree that is given that by its degree distribution. Uh, when the in-degree distribution is homogeneous, we can identify two ways to read the discussion depending on the fraction of supporting and attacking comments in the debate. While uh, when we have non-homogeneous in-degree distribution, the best way to read the discussion is from the deepest level of the tree to the pieces. Um, when um, leaves are, are removed, um, so when so we have seen that leaves have a large influence in the location of other justified comments, uh, and so we want to meet case effect removing them and when those are removed uh, we can see that in yellow uh, the patterns that we saw from homogeneous trees appears again um, before ending this presentation i want to highlight some limitation of this approach um, in the first um, first first of all so as, as i said arguments uh, may be left and replied for many reasons so we should find ways to um, mitigate this effect. And we propose some uh, ways on the paper. Unfortunately, we, we, not, we do not have time to present all, them, all of them here. Um, comments are not always logical arguments in generic online discussions. So uh, if you want to apply this approach on generic discussion, we need to clean them uh, before uh, applying argumentation theory. And finally, relations between comments are usually not declared and, and not always easy to extract. Um, so in this case, we use Chialo that has these relations declared. And if uh, but here we have, for example, a work from Michael Leakes uh, to study how we can extract information from uh, the, the graph and get the relations between uh, comments in a generic online discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Giorla. Uh, any questions from the audience? Um, I have a small question. Okay. Hi. So first of all, thank you very much for the great talk. Um, is the data available? I mean, you said that you pulled it out of to, out of Kialo, right? Yeah. 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 We we can send you the, the the data if you if you want. Just send me an email. And if you want, we can send. You. We didn't publish right. them because I mean. Uh, 
uh, uh, data from uh, an online platform. Uh, you can use them for research, so we can pass you that. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. More, more questions? Maybe I have one question. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, have you considered, uh, have, or have you ever met some of the uh, these scenarios? Like uh, one, there's one node like that has very really large uh, uh, in degree. So basically, say for example, in online discussion. So if uh, 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 Elon Musk, if say for example, is in the discussion, like a lot of disagree or agree, right? So basically, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so how how do you think about? Uh, the approach can apply to this yes. so what, what we would expect uh yeah, yeah clearly i mean if you have a lot of the approach you have that uh, if there is one lock, this kills the the comment okay so um, if there, however you cannot know how this propagates through other comments in the discussion so for example here you have that, that you have only one justified comment that uh, um uh, attacks uh, these other comment and this is not justified but if you have a tree of other comments uh, under it you never know how this uh, what is going to happen and if it's you it's not trivial to understand if the comment that with a lot of replies is justified or not because it depends on the other trees of comments that then reply to all the replies so it's it's not uh, trivial to to know it uh, from I mean, from principle Cool. Yep, thank you. Uh, any questions? Oh, yeah, maybe I have one more for questions. It's a little bit, uh, so uh, curiously, if you look at your setup, maybe in slide six, uh, six or seven, I guess. So normally in probability modeling, it's a little bit tricky. So it depends on how do you model this whole process. So yeah, uh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, this one. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Say so for this one, so do you, I mean, uh, this is a probability, probability, right? So can you, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, how do you guarantee that it's like uh, between zero and one? So is there any, uh, like any guarantee about this? I mean, this is smaller than, than than one and this is a probability so yeah yeah if you sum up this, everything yeah. this this sum up to, to one i mean uh, so you have that q is between zero and one is the proportion of attacking at super comments p of h is the probability so it's between zero and one and this is the same so you can you can show if this is probability that you can normalize it uh, you want. Ah, okay okay gotcha Okay, any more questions from the audience? Um, I have a question. Um, it, um, so all of the comments you said that they can they can either be supportive or not supportive comments, right? So could there be comments that are, that are, that are in the middle that, that are probably neither uh, supportive nor, uh, nor against? Um, I think you... that in, in general, in, in, there are some frameworks that treat the uh, uh, these kind of comments in uh, argumentation theory. Uh, given that we study Chialo, in Chialo this is not possible. Uh, so you either have to support or not uh, the, the, the previous comment. Uh, so there is no possibilities of saying, uh, I mean, the, because in general, I mean, what is up? So if you are discussing a thesis, uh, um, in, we are considering comments that are um, self-contained points. So you cannot say two things in the same in the same comment. So you cannot say yes, this is right, but this other is wrong. So you are saying the red, the herd mm -hmm. is brown. You have to reply to the thesis, uh, and, and this is, should be a clear point on or con the thesis, or the in this case the previous comment. So comments are replying to each other. So uh, and this makes this a debate, uh, not a generic mm -hmm. uh, let's say discussion. So. Yeah, so I mean, for generic uh, discussions on other platforms, uh, this is a bit more tricky because maybe there are different uh, 
also degree of support and attack. Uh, so maybe a comment may be a bit more supportive or a bit less. And yeah, you can maybe, I don't know, find a way to, to state how much a comment is supportive or not. Uh, and maybe mm -hmm. there are other ways to, to then account this in the, in the account of justified arguments. Mm 